yeah hi students i am dr badrinath and in this video we will see the insulin a very interesting and very important topic uh, for all the uh, students right and even a small uh, uh, high school kid also able to know what is the insulin he will tell simply he will tell that it is using for the treatment of the diabetes even high school kid also and most of the patients diabetic patients they are taking the insulin right okay that topic we'll see how fearly he is uh, he is getting a fear and uh, to take the insulin because daily they have to take injections only insulin is available in the injection form only orally not available inhalation not available transdermal patches not available no nothing so far still research is going on still research is there but successfully there is no proper outcome uh, to our medical store so far there is no such a type of a insulin preparation that's why daily taking injection is a very painful that you know very well okay so he is uh, fearing see how he is uh, seeing on the table it was there on the table insulin and he is uh, fearing getting a fear to see to take the insulin he has to take insulin now okay so this fear is called as a trypanophobia phobia phobia you know no water phobia like that so many phobias are there okay trypanophobia do you have a fear of injection then you can say how the balloon will fear uh, with the needle because it will be blast when you press it trip easy to remember trypano tri t r i tri pan pin you can remember tri pin three pins like that you can remember so three pins when come it comes okay uh, so you started getting a fear like that you can uh, imagine and uh, this is the differences between the normal syringe and insulin syringe insulin syringe is completely different from the normal syringe okay uh, first one is needle length needle length here you will get a very short needle you will get see here this needle whereas a normal syringe you will get a some bigger it is almost double than this double okay first one and uh, units on the barrel this is this part is called as a barrel so in this barrel we are using a units units in case of insulin whereas a in normal injection we are measuring as a ml 1 ml 2 ml 3 ml like that ml will be there most of the students they do not know it is a units only next is next difference is a third difference administration person actually we need a expert Uh, to give an injection normal injection either a nurse doctor they were, they will give the injection whereas here the person who is suffering with the diabetes he has to take on their own okay no problem in that for that only they reduce the size of the needle so if you reduce the size so that it is somewhat safe see how this is how to take the insulin you have to hold the a uh, stomach or uh, abdominal part like this or any part anywhere in the body because needle length is very short it doesn't go much depth so that but it, is, it deliver the insulin but daily taking is very horrible situation okay that i tell okay next is molecular weight of the insulin see insulin bottle consist of a insulin in that insulin what it consists of what is the structure of insulin insulin molecular weight is a 6000 6000 6000 6000 first of all and uh, see insulin structure is having a two chains like this gold chain one uh, chain double chain you know no double chain like this one chain two chain. one chain is short and whereas uh, another chain is a uh, long so it is a two chain structure insulin see here that chain this is a chain a this color see the color here this is a chain a this chain a is a short like this short this is a short chain a it consists of only 21 amino acids all these are the amino acids glycine cysteine okay all these are the so 21 amino acids whereas this one is a chain b see this color chain b it is a bigger chain like this so chain a chain b chain a is a small consists of a here also you can see protein it is a protein totally 21 amino acids are present total if you see two polypeptide chains are present this is a polypeptide chain this is also polypeptide chain so chain a consists of 21 amino acids here also mentioned chain b consists of bigger chain chain b 
30 amino acids. Easy, you can remember 20, 30. First A, start with 20, 30. One is extra for first chain. Like that, you can remember 20, 30. One chain is extra in the first chain. 21, 30. This is very important in competitive examination. They will ask how many amino acids are present in the insulin. Chain A consists of how many, how, how many amino acids? Chain B consists of how many amino acids? Very important. And here, you can see one of the interesting and important point. There is a connection between the chain A and chain B. That, that connection also very important for competitive examination. See here, it is a connected by the, the, see here, first of all, see my cursor. Here, there is a one linkage between the chain A, chain B, here. And here also one link is there, chain A, chain B. So two are links between a chain A and a chain B. These links are called as a sulfide, yes, yes. Disulfide, two sulfides are there, no? Yes, 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 yes. Like that two sulfide bonds are present between the uh, two chains. And there is a one more uh, link also there, but it is within the chain. See here, you can see disulfide bond also here also, same type of bond, but within the chain. That is also A. Most of the students don't get confusion. Chain A consists of internally, small chain consists of a link. Okay. So that connecting points are also important. In which positions it is connected. That is very important. See, connected by the interchain that is between the chain international between the national interstate between the states like that interchain disulfide linkage to a7 b7 same amino acids a also 7 b also 7 7 7 contacted one link is there disulfide bond okay then a20 b19 only one is a difference a20 b19 b9 this is a one linkage that is a interchain and Intra chain linkage. This this is the intra chain within the chain. Okay. A six eleven. See there is no letter of B. A six. See this is the sixth position. When you count here, one two three four five six. Sixth position and eleventh position one chain. Here seventh position seventh position between A and B like that all these points connecting points where the disulfides bonds are present is very very important for competitive examination for all pharmacy mbbs nursing students and all if two chains are break apart by the interlinking see disulfide bonds are breaking now suppose say there is no disulfide bonds between a chain a chain b chain a will be get separated chain b chain a also get separated two chains when separated insulin loses its activity, its waste. It doesn't show any anti-diabetic property. That's a wonderful. See, SS bonds are very, very important. Those are the functionally very important. If two chains are break apart, functional activity lasts. Very important point. Very important. Yeah. No. See, insulin was, uh, who discovered means, uh, this is the gang, okay? Uh, his name is batting, 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 you know, cricket batting, best batting. These are the two persons, best batting is the keyword here. See here, uh, Charles best, Charles best. Here, banting, banting. These two are the persons who discovered the uh, insulin. See, insulin was discovered in the year of, 1921, see my cursor, 1921, 1921, it was discovered. Whereas a first used, see here, see the underlying point, first used in the January 1922. That is a very, 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 very important point. Okay. Okay, best batting, 1921, first discovered in the year 1922. Next year, they have used 21 discovery, 22 like that best batting best and batting these are the four persons the gang really hats off to them. hats off to them and this is your syllabus as per uh, your university pharmacology okay for all uh, nursing mbbs pharmacy all students this is the syllabus 
from KD Tripathi only, same as it is syllabus only, they have given. Here you can find the insulin. This is the chapter for pharmacology of drugs acting on endocrine system. Insulin, you can find the here in the E. Oral hypoglycemic agent that we will see in the next videos. Yeah, first credit insulin having a very great aim, but how much I will tell either I will make a video of one day, two days, three days on insulin, it will not be sufficient because that much of crazy is there, uh, that much of importance is there, insulin. Insulin is the first to its credits, first hormone to be isolated from the body, either from the human body or from the animal body, any physical body, first hormone only isolated, remaining hormones not isolated, first First insulin, later after insulin, uh, there was a number of uh, trials for uh, isolation of remaining hormones. Okay, first, uh, first hormone which is isolated, first hormone which is purified in the lab, they isolated from the body, they purified and first crystallized, they made into just like a sugar structures, how the sugar will be look like a crystals. So like that insulin they made into crystalline form. Okay, and synthesize it in the lab, first hormone, first protein to possess a hormonal activity. So it is a protein because it consists of amino acids, full of amino acids automatically by closing your eyes, you can say it is a protein. So it is a protein, it is a hormone. Okay, first protein sequence for amino acid to determine the structure. First, they only isolated and studied this hormone only structure. Remaining hormone structure they studied later, so after the 1921. First protein which is estimated by the RIA, radio immunoassay. Radio, that much of important. First, always first, first, first. See the, my symbol, what I have kept. Always first. Insulin means first, right? First protein synthesized by recombinant biotechnology, DNA technology, recombinant technology. First protein. Later, uh, they uh, synthesized by using uh, pancreas in, uh, is the main gland which secretes the, not only main gland, it is the one and only gland, one and only gland which secretes the insulin. Where is this pancreas? This is the structure of the pancreas. So, where is the location? This is the location. On the low curvature, exactly on the curvature of the below the stomach. This is the stomach we know very well. So exactly it fits in the curve, in this curve, it fits. This is called as a pancreas. If you enlarge this, you will get, see all the violet dots are there. See, this is the pancreas. All the violet dots are there. If I enlarge one violet dot, see here I enlarged this one. This is, uh, this violet dots are called as a islets of Langerhans. Islets of Langerhans are nothing but secrets of the hormone. Islets of Langerhans, nothing but endocrine part. Endocrine. There is a two types of glands are there. Endocrine gland, exocrine. I will explain you next slide. Islets of Langerhans, violet color. If you enlarge it, you will get a three types of cells. See here, this is a three cells are there. One is alpha cell. See the structure. Nucleus is there, alpha cells, beta cells. Again, mathematics came. Ba, 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 ba. Alpha, beta. See, this is a delta cell. Delta cell doesn't consist of a nucleus. See here, there is no nucleus. Whereas a here, beta cell nucleus, alpha cell is also nucleus. Three cells are there. These three cells are collectively called as islets of longer hands. Very important bit. Very important. Pancreas is called as a mixed gland. Mixed. It consists of, see, there in the body, there is a two types of glands are there. Exocrine glands, endocrine glands. Endocrine glands secretes the hormones. It doesn't have any duct, pipe-like structure to secret its secretions. Water pipe, nothing. Directly it secretes into the blood. That is called as an endocrine. Okay. Exocrine consists of a uh, pipes. So it secretes the its uh, things, but it doesn't secretes the hormone, exocrine. Endocrine only secretes the hormones. See, in the body, there is a number of endocrine glands, there is a number of exocrine glands. 
but only one and only gland is there that is a that is a part uh, organ of the body which consists of a both both exocrine part endocrine part that's why it is called a mixed gland very very important bit number of times it was appeared in the competitive examination very important that's why here i made a mixed pickle a mango pickle i mixed with the lemon pickle like that mixed pickle so this is a mixed gland see pancreas is a mixed gland it consists of exocrine part that is a pipe duct it releases the it produces the digestive pancreatic enzymes enzymes which are responsible because it is below the stomach no it releases the some of the digestive juices into the intestine okay so that it comes into alkaline part digestive juices digestive enzymes will be secreted by the acne acne and the ducts ducts will be there okay whereas when you come to the endocrine part this is the endocrine part this part see violet dots it is a islets of langer hans most of the students are confusing islets of langer hans means only beta cells no it is a beta cells alpha cells delta cells three collectively called as a endocrine glands this endocrine glands produces the hormones no digestive juices exocrine gland only juices the uh, digestive juices okay here clear cutly i have shown now we will see what is alpha cell what is beta cell what is a delta cell either it secretes the all cells secretes the insulin yeah here you can see the the same diagram what i have i got from uh, kd tripathi pharmacology book only okay this figure see here beta cells alpha cells and uh, delta cell what we saw here same cell alpha beta delta now you see this delta cells secretes the somatost all these are the hormones only islets of langer hans see here the diagram pancreatic modulation of a hormone secretion within the pancreatic islets of langer hans collectively called as a islets of langer hans okay see here these are the delta cell delta i see the shape yes it looks like a yes very easy trick to remember somatostatin somatostatin delta shape of the letter is important here okay now beta cells secretes the insulin insulin is having a two chains we have told beta b b stands for two easy to remember beta cell secretes the insulin it consists of a two chains so beta b number is two beta like that you can remember easily trick and alpha cells alpha cells uh, see the again here it looks like a g letter of g okay so it is a glucagon very easy to remember glucagon see which cell secretes the which hormone is very very important for all competitive examination beta cells releases the insulin and amyloid and what is the relationship between the these three cells very interesting diagram red mark <coughs> stimulation positive red mark stimulates whereas a blue mark inhibition see b first you start with the glucagon alpha cells you can remember the order also alpha beta delta alpha beta line in the line so alpha beta delta like that you know see first we will start with the uh, alpha cells alpha cells it works against the beta cell see alpha cells started stimulating the beta cells whereas the beta cells inhibits the alpha cells see this is helping cooperating the beta cell whereas a beta cell inhibiting the alpha cell same fashion alpha cell is also also stimulating the delta cells whereas a delta cell inhibiting the glucagon release or this alpha release see how nicely ante that means that alpha cells stimulating both beta and also delta whereas a delta and beta inhibiting the alpha cell okay one sided it is just like a one sided it is a doing a good for this whereas it is doing a bad for this like that you can remember and this is the extra link what you have to remember delta cell 
uh, inhibits the beta cell. Okay. You can also remember one more technique also there. Alpha cells stimulates the both. Whereas a delta cells inhibits the both. Like that. Like that you can enjoy, enjoy the topic. This is the insulin biosynthesis. In the body, how the insulin is synthesized? Three steps are there. First, this is the insulin. You can see this is the insulin. This is the chain A, chain B, is, uh, like that. And there is a double bonds are there. See, disulfate double bonds are there. Okay. This is the insulin. Before that, pro-insulin comes. Pro. Before that, pre-pro-insulin is there. Pre-pro. See, first pre-pro-insulin, you can see, it is converted into pro-insulin, where which the place is very important, endoplasmic reticulum, ER, very important bit. ER converts in the place of, this is a place ER, where pre-insulin, pre-pro-insulin converted into pro-insulin. What happened here? See, there is no disulfate bonds formed. Here you see, disulfate bonds are formed in pro-insulin. Pre-pro-insulin doesn't consist of a bond. See here, black line, there no black line. This part will be eliminated. This sulfate part will be eliminated and it comes and joined here. That is a difference between these two. Okay. And see, this entire blue the link is there. When there is a linkage of SS double disulfate bond, disulfate bond, this blue link between a two chains will be broken. Then now insulin came. Insulin came. Here the running matter, why, what I have done. Where the same matter, what I have done. This takes place in the Galgi operators. This is an endoplasmic reticulum. Galgi operators. Very important. Insulin biosynthesis. Plasma levels of the insulin. Plasma level, base level, how much uh, uh, insulin is present in the plasma? 10, round figure. 10. Micro units, not ml, ml, micro liters, micro units per ml. That is a base level. If you are taking consumption after the meal, it will be increased to 3 to 10 times. That is a 30 to uh, 100 micro units per ml after 30 to 60 minutes after consumption of the meal. Okay. Daily secretion. How much insulin is daily secreted is 0.5 to 1.25 units per hour. Per hour. Okay. Peripheral delivery. Peripheral means at the sides of the body, peripheral party. It, without first pass metabolism, secretion is 2.4, but only keep in your mind basal level 10 to this part is only important. After meal, what is the basal level? Circulation and the degrading. It circulates unbound. It doesn't bound because it is a protein itself. It doesn't bound. It carry to any carrier protein. It doesn't uh, bounds. Okay. Half life is only five to eighteen minutes. Half life. You know half life. If I'll give you ten units of insulin to your body, ten units. Keep in your mind. After five to eighteen minutes, approximately fifteen minutes. You can say after fifteen minutes. 10 units will be decreased to 5 units. After 10 units, after 15 minutes, again, this 5 units will become a 2.5. Next, 1.25. Like that, it gone half. Half. Okay. So, metabolic clearance rate from the blood, 1000 ml of the blood, blood, 1000 ml of the blood per minute will be get cleared of the insulin. Okay. Per minute. Just imagine that is a metabolic layer that much fast it is eliminated from the body insulin. That's why you, you have to take a daily, you have to take insulinase is the enzyme that breaks the insulin, that degrades the insulin, that breaks the disulfide chains. Insulinase. Insulin release, how in the body insulin release is stimulated and inhibited. See, insulin in our body, insulin is very important for our human body. If you, it is a synthesizer, see, insulin release is stimulated in the parasympathetic system. Your body is in very cool. You are doing some meditation, 
you are very cool there is no excitement no angry nothing it is called a parasympathetic system this parasympathetic system release you know acetyl choline see here acetyl choline ach is the neurotransmitter which is released in the parasympathetic system only okay whereas a sympathetic system you come to sympathetic system it is inhibited insulin release will be inhibited that's why your angry is your enemy don't get much angry if you are getting angry your insulin levels will be decreased you have to take insulin from extra outside that's why don't get angry be cool 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 always be in the parasympathetic system right it will be inhibited by the angriness see that is a sympathetic system catecholamines will be there epinephrine also called as adrenaline you know very well just like opposite of the acetylcholine epinephrine nor epinephrine also called as a adrenaline nor adrenaline okay synonyms dopamine serotonin starvation starvation like this you will get a shivering starvation hypoxia all these inhibit whereas a hyperglycemia excess of the sugar in the body stimulates the insulin release thyroxine t4 estrogen hormones glucocorticoids gastrointestinal hormones all this stimulates the parasympathetic system see all the juices in our body freely released in parasympathetic only a gastrointestinal juices or uh, hormones if you are in be cool calm all by your body will started secreting all the juices all the hormones will be happy yeah insulin pharmacokinetics this is the sc root subcutaneous root below the subcutaneous cutaneous means your skin sub means just below so just below the root we are taking a usual root orally rapid degradation is there so that's why insulin tablets are not available not available insulin capsules also not available still research is going on if you success in the oral insulin route you will become a world richest amazon head chief bejus is a world richest now definitely will cross i am saying no if you find if you determine the insulin delivery you will cross amazon okay so you will be the world number one richest person i am i am root that is also injection you know intramuscular intravenous intramuscular rapid absorption will be there very rapidly absorbed and iv root only emergencies okay and metabolism it is metabolized by the insulinase enzyme in the kidneys liver two important parts kidneys liver yeah very important diagram i love this diagram i love I, I fall in love with this diagram. First crush, first crush, right? See here, this diagram. What insulin and glucagon will do? See this this arrow mark. You see this arrow mark. See my cursor. Actions stimulated by the insulin. See the orange arrow mark. Actions stimulated by the glucagon. what insulin will do what glucagon will do ah, very important see with the help of this slide you can able to write the matter nearly 4 to 5 pages you can write the matter generally i won't like a running matter i will like only the pictures diagrams quick information quick understanding quick memory that's why see you have to practice number of times this diagram see glucose will be uptaken this arrow mark stands for insulin ash color see glucose will be uptaken by the liver glucose will be uptaken by the muscle glucose will be uptaken by the adipose tissue glucose will so this insulin causes uptake of glucose and also also insulin causes the uptake of amino acids amino acids are nothing but proteins proteins are very rich in muscle muscle all the muscles are rich in protein that's why uh, see first glucose is three liver muscle fatty acid uh, adipose tissue amino acids are proteins proteins will be taken up by the muscles with the help of insulin and free fatty acid you know fat is present in the adipose tissue free fatty acids will be taken up by the adipose tissue that is due to the insulin 
this part. Okay. Now, here also one ash mark is there. In the liver, glucose will be converted into glycogen. That is, this arrow mark is an insulin. Okay. Now, you come to the orange color. Actions stimulated by the glucogon. This do glucogon opposite to that of. Here also see opposite. Glycogen is converted into glucose. Whereas the glucose will be released into the blood. Glucose. That is a glucogon. What insulin do? Glucogon will do opposite. Okay. And also glucogon, it transfer the free fatty acids from adipose tissue to liver. Ketones. It converts the ketones. Very important bit. Each bit is important. Each and every corner of this slide is very important. Amen. I say. Muscle, adipose tissue. You can see this all the matter which is the, comes from the diagram only. See in the exam, if you want to write, you write this running matter, write the diagram and start explanation. Okay. If you are reading running matter, you cannot forget. You will forget. Practice, practice the diagram. Mechanism of insulin secretion. Insulin will be secreted by the glucagon, somatostatin, acetylcholine. Three important. And mechanisms I have given. Gluco how the glucagon will release the insulin. How somatostatin will stimulate the insulin release. How acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is parasympathetic system. Just now I have told parasympathetic system how it is stimulated. How insulin decreases the blood sugar level. Just now what I have shown, I have shown glucose will be same diagram only. See, this is the systemic circulation. Our blood. From the blood, our glucose uptake will be glucose. See what insulin will do. The blood glucose, see the word, blood glucose will be uptaken by the muscles, uptaken by the liver, uptaken by the adipose tissue, fat cell. So there is only less sugar, less glucose in the systemic circulation. So blood sugar will be reduced. Where all this blood sugar went? Where? It went to liver. It went to muscles. It went to fat tissue. That's why you have to do a walking exercise, running, jogging, etc. If you are doing like that, blood sugar level will be decreased. Insulin level will be increased. Blood sugar will be decreased. All the blood sugar will be taken up by the, your muscles for the energy. Okay. And mechanism of action. How the insulin started red? See, this is the cell membrane. This is a insulin. First, see the diagram. Okay. This is the same. Cell membrane, muscle cell, fat cell, whatever it may be, any cell, liver cell, whatever. When insulin, uh, this is the insulin. When the insulin comes and binds with insulin receptor, this is insulin receptor, alpha, beta. Two alpha chains, two beta chains are there. See? When insulin comes and binds with it, here the glucose will enter. Here the gate will be open for the glucose. So glucose will be taken up by the muscle. Glucose will be taken up by the liver. Glucose will be taken up by the adipose tissue. So glucose levels in the blood will be decreased. Okay. So when insulin comes and binds here, here the gate will be open for the glucose. This, is, this gate is called a glucose transport protein. Glucose Transport, transport, transporting the glucose, no? Protein, it is a protein, okay? Like this. See, uh, insulin receptors, uh, two to three lakhs will be there. And if you see the structure of the insulin, alpha, outer surface. See, this is alpha, outer surface. Whereas a beta, this beta part, across the cell, from outside to the inside, through the cell membrane. See here, across the plasma membrane having a tyrosine kinin. And if you want to go in depth, what happens? Same structure only. Here the when insulin comes and binds with this insulin receptor, here you can see alpha, this transport is called as a beta. When insulin comes and bite, here the gate will be open, glucose will be entered. This glucose will be converted into metabolizing and storage for the energy. See, glucose metabolism, glucose metabolism will be achieved by the insulin only. This is the metabolic effect. Carbohydrate metabolism, insulin dependent uptake, insulin independent also that you have to take. Okay. Carbohydrate metabolism in liver, what happened? In muscles, how it takes place? Same matter. 
so this part uh, you can see here in liver what happened increases the glucose uptake glycogen synthesis glycolysis okay decreases the glycogenolysis all these points you have to write in the exam you have to keep in the memory you have to practice carbohydrate metabolism in adipose tissue what happened in the adipose tissue protein metabolism yeah protein see insulin is protein i have already told you insulin supports all the proteins it saves it synthesizes the proteins in the body and it decreases the degradation of the protein one side it increases the pro production of the proteins in the body another side it decreases the decreases the protein degradation so that protein concentration will be more in the body this is a normal blood sugar level uh, normal pre diabetic before the diabetic uh, this is the part and the diabetes 125 you have to keep in your mind this is a fasting blood sugar fasting post meal two are there so okay and this is hypoglycemia hypo less sugar below the 40 blood glucose there below 45 mg 45 mg percentage okay in the next uh, slide or uh, next video we will see insulin preparations i will end my video here okay insulin preparations